Hello ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd make a quick video um, regarding my two cards, two RX 570s and I don't know why, there we go, um, anyway, uh, I've got two PCs and one of my PCs has an Asus RX 570 ROG Strix 4GB version and it comes with an Elpida memory um, and it also has a gigabyte 7850 overclock 2 gig um, card on there and the CPU on it is a Core i7 37 3770 Intel CPU now oh, these are my stats at the moment I'm using XMR stack Okay, I'll just quickly show you my thing in Uh Where is it? Okay, this is the AMD. So I doubled my threads for the um, uh, RX 570. You just copy and paste on the bottom, like this. And that way, what happens is... So rather than having AMD... Well, um, one, uh, 0 and 1 now I get AMD 0, 1, 2 Ooh. yeah 0, 1, 2 um, now AMD 0 is my uh, here we go is my HD 7850 and 1 and 2 is uh, 2 threads on the RX 570 um, so I'm getting about 860, 70 something, nearly close to 900 um, kilo hashes, um, kilo hashes for that card. And for that, I am using up around uh, 92 to yeah, around, around close to 100 watts to get that from that card. Um, I'm going to show you my other card now. Oh, that's on my other PC. I just got to um. Disconnect my HDMI cable. Jump in that. And my mouse. Okay. Oh, what happened? There we go. Now, this is also running XMR stack, but because it's a shitty. Um, AMD APU, it gets very very hot and I don't want to um, risk killing the CPU so I've got a back file let me just show you oh. I've done the same thing here it just looks different, so I don't understand why um, I've done two threads, I think it's the same yeah anyway, there's two threads but what I want to show you is, here we go, I've got a start dot bat file here, oh shit, no I don't want to do that, I'm going to get out of it, oh crap, I want to press something else, okay, so <clears throat> I'll show you. Uh, there's my start dot bat file and to avoid the CPU it says no CPU on there so if you had an NVIDIA card that you didn't want you'd have no NVD or something or whatnot. anyway the results I'm getting with this card this card is a MSI Gaming X overclock the 4 gig version which comes with a Samsung memory. Now, before this card, I bought another MSI, which was a MSI Armor <coughs> 4 gig version, and I was extremely di uh, disappointed with that card. It, that also came with an Elpida um, memory, like the Aces. Um, I re actually returned it, I was so upset. I returned it and got this instead. And um, yeah, it was a very good change. And as you can see, I'm getting 965, 968 kilo, um, um, hashes, 
then <coughs> let's have a look at the uh, watts, um, 71 watts. So I'm using a lot less watts to get a lot more hashes. And the card is running at uh, 59 degrees and it's, it's actually running much cooler as well. Um, I'm so surprised. Um, I was, I used to think people are just talking a lot of crap about um, all the memories being shit except the Samsung. Um, yeah, to a point they are right. Um, but you can reach those hashes with Alpida memories. But you just gotta look at the power usage and the heat. Um, so when you put it all together, you really should try to get a card with a Samsung memory. Um, to get this, let me have a look at my... Um, where is it? Uh, okay, it doesn't work on that. So I didn't use MSI, I must have just used um, uh, Radeon Wattman settings. So you've got to make sure your workload is set to compute. Uh, global Wattman settings. Okay, so 1281 megahertz. Um, okay, memory is 2060 and that's about it just thought I'd show you this um, one very very important thing I want to talk about where I saw a massive difference in um, in uh, power usage was when I was um, dual mining with um, Claymore Ethereum and Decrete um, this card was charging me oh, what was it it was costing me 100 close to 90 to 100 watts to dual mine 30 ethereum uh, 30 mega hashes of ethereum and about 800 to 900 mega hashes of the creed whereas the asus one on the other hand was exactly 149 watts for 30 or 29 30 ethereums and something like 800 mega hashes of the creed um, so yeah, it's a massive, massive difference, uh, especially living in Australia. Uh, I think my kilowatts is like 29 cents a kilowatt, which is very expensive compared to the rest of the world. I'm going to look around, see if I can find uh, cheaper suppliers. If you guys do live in Australia, Sydney, and you're cheaper, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you.